And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 24. I am TJ the Obscure with you. The theme for this jam is Machines, and we are playing uh, Data, D-A-T-A, -A, by Rektar, I believe. And it's supposed to be a pretty command function heavy map. This is really interesting. What is this? This is my first time playing 1.4, by the way. It's a spawner? Did they change the spawner texture? Cause that looks really weird. Uh, okay, well, Rektar, you should be happy knowing that you are the first to introduce me to 1.4. Uh, 1.14. Did I say 1.4 before? Oh gosh, I'm going to confuse myself. Jimmy, Jimmy, not again. Um, oh gosh, okay. Jimmy, wait, wake wake up uh jimmy what is wrong with your room your floor and ceiling are made of barrels your two block high walls are literally composters are there's composter what the heck is going on your bed is made of snow your desk is scaffolding and your lantern is a cocoa bean <laughs> this is kind of funny actually how in god's name did you even manage to put a cocoa bean in there uh jimmy the eyesore jam was two years ago what are you doing anyways there's someone outside who wants to talk to you we are in a cutscene, by the way. That's why I can't really move. Uh, hello there. Thanks for meeting with me. My name is Jeremy. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. I like your outfit there. Color purple does really well with your green eyes. Uh, you've been selected from a list of many candidates for a free cruise. Ooh. I've actually been on a couple cruises in my time. I'm a, I'm a bit more resistant to going on them now that I understand the full environmental impact that they can have on the oceans and how much fuel they burn and all that kind of stuff. But gosh, are they so much fun. Anyways, uh, help me save the world. Uh, okay, let me explain. There's this evil guy named, um, okay, y y Marriage. Y Marriage? Uh, and he's super strong. He's Jeremy backwards, but yeah. And handsome and has really nice abs. Trust me, all the girls like him. Uh, but he's planning to take over the world by harnessing the power of the mobs, which is a really clever idea. The only way to stop him is to build a machine to give the power of the mobs to you to defeat him in an ep epic battle. One small problem, I've got the blueprints for the machine, but I need mob data in order to actually make it. I need you to raid dungeons and harvest the data from their spawners. Why can't I do it? Because you're lazy. Yeah? Uh, because I, um, <laughs> I, I glued my hands together. I appreciate the sense of humor in the map. That's always nice to see. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of how a dungeon will go. Uh, there will be monsters and stuff, so you have to kill them. Yeah, that's, you know, pretty, pretty obvious. They will spawn in from spawners, which you'll have to extract the data from. To extract the data, you'll break into them with a pickaxe. Okay. Uh, once you have all the data necessary, you'll make your way back to where you started. All good, no questions, awesome, let's go. Let's get stuff, oh wait, no. Uh, I want to, okay, uh, welcome to my lab. Uh, well, it's only the small basement because I don't want you seeing what's upstairs. Your head looks all weird now, Jeremy. Um, not that I'm hiding anything. Anyways, the first dungeon will be up. Uh, we'll be up against is the skeleton dungeon. Skeletons have amazing bow capabilities because Dinner Bone hates people. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. And with their data, I can finally attack even with my glued hands. Okay, let's let's get to it then. Uh, that's what is what I'd say if I were the one getting the powers. Of course, haha, that's gonna be you. When you're ready, stand on the teleporter and wait to be teleported. Oh, we can move again. Teleporter. Uh, random room. Not a trap. Uh, okay, there's invisible blocks here, I think. Is are you? Is it a resource pack? I'm guessing it's a resource pack, right? Power, power matron 5000. Or power matron? Power matron? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can we move these now? No. Oh, man, that's going to really mess with me. I like to have my things in a very specific order. Oh, he even retextured the armor. Unless this is 1.14 and I'm just totally unaware of this. Can we go up the staircase? Nope. Can I talk to you? Nope. Uh, okay, well, I don't think there's much else we can do. Once again, I want to remind people that um, 
I try to do just one episode per jam map, so if I don't get through your entire map, you know, just, um, that's kind of how I do it now in order to try to keep up with things. And what else? Oh, it's daytime. Uh, okay. Oh, what else was I going to say? Uh, spawners don't have max entities, so hurry up. LOL, good luck. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what just happened there. All right, let's do that. And just just power through it all. Power through it all. And break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, guy. You have really got to be kidding me. Mr. Skeleton. Uh, okay, we might die. We might die. Please don't spawn again. Okay, this might be... Might be near impossible. Please get it. Got it. Okay, I think we technically got it. Did we? Yeah, okay. Let's wait for our health to regen. Most of these guys are just going to burn up. Uh, oh, there's invisible blocks there. Okay, interesting. Yeah, just kill all the things. This is an interesting kind of like proof of concept, I think. Clearly, it's a, it's a jam map, though, and it's it's not very polished, but I appreciate all the, the command work and stuff that went into this. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's just slowly, slowly wait for for our last bit of health here. And then we will run over there. And maybe, maybe be able to take out the spawner. Nope, I think we're going to die, actually. Uh... Get it, got it, good. Dude, people, please stop. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking annoying. Come on, just let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Let me get it. Okay, guy, guy, guy. Oh man, okay. It's um, it's, it's nearly impossible to do, to be honest. the The spawn rate is just too high, and it's not. You're not even like fighting fighting the skeletons, right? You're just. We have to do it again. Oh, why can't I? Do we really have to do it again? Like both of them? It's it basically comes down to RNG at this point because it's about whether or not. The skeleton is going to behave in a certain way. But maybe we can get it. Okay, got that one. Let's try to get the other one now. And they all kill each other. And hope that we can get it the way that we need to. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, head back to the platform now is what it's saying. Interesting. I think that these should stop spawning now. Everybody's dead. Mostly dead. You. And you. And you. And you. Alright. Yeah, that's, um, whew, okay. Next one. You did it. Yeah. Sure, I did it. Why not? Uh, the, the Powermatron 5000 is now one-third powered. It's now infused with the power of skeletons stored in the bone block. Oh, gosh. I really don't like these cutscenes. Um, next up is the gas dungeon. I mean, I just don't like that I can't move and stuff. I know it's, like, the only way to do it, but... Wait, who are we doing? Ghast. These guys can fly, and with their data, you'll be able to fly. Can I get a better pickaxe, maybe? Some kind of upgrade here, guy? Uh, bats work too, but a bat dun dungeon just d didn't sound as fun. When you're ready, or or um, phantoms, phantoms would have worked as well. Blaze, there's a lot of options there. I'm gonna teleport and wait to be teleported. Okay, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and do the gas dungeon. 
might be no nah, probably won't be easier i don't know <laughs> we'll see it depends on how it looks oh my gosh okay um i wonder what that's all about over there where am i going what am i doing i can't believe that this is going to be spawning like just just yeah I want to see what's over here, if at all possible. Is it really just water over here? I thought there might be like some kind of secret or something. Uh. Okay. How do we get up? I guess there's entrances. I see a sign or something over there. Let's wait for our health to regen a little bit. This one doesn't seem to be spawning ones constantly. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, you guys are much farther away than, than it would appear. Alright. I think we should be good to go. Uh, yep. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Get in the water, guy. Get in the water. The blazes are not attacking me for some reason. There we go. Uh, let's just try to get inside if we can. Fantastic. And then we just head straight up. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. It's so very dark. Right, one down. Yeah, I've noticed that Gast AI seems a little a little funky now. Like they don't they don't target you as much as they used to. I think I kinda remember hearing something about like if gas spawn on a different Y level, they don't notice you, or is that that might be phantoms actually. Oh, come on, die guy, die. Thank you. And here. Oh gosh, okay, barely got that one. And here, and here. And we should be able to easily get this other spawner. Uh, just like a so. And you're dead. Come on, Mr. Gast, go ahead and die for me, please. Thank you. Uh, do we need to go back? We need to go back to the platform, right? I do believe so. This would be a, um, I mean, with some, some small changes here and there, this might actually be a decent kind of beginner map. Given how it's a fairly simple level design, not too challenging. I think you'd probably have to slow down the spawn rates, especially on the skeletons. But uh, it's it's certainly a, a, u a unique map. Uh, and it's now infused with the power of gas stored in the soul sand. Next up is a tricky one. Gosh dang it. Okay, just stop. I'm going to stop touching my mouse. Uh, these guys made a really hard parkour. It's the human dungeon. Oh man, really? There's no human spawners though, right? Or villager spawners or what? We don't need spawner data, just their fuel. That's kind of scary. When you're ready, stay on the teleporter and wait to be teleported. Totally not a trap. Oh, I was going to say, I, I I guess this is the monument. I didn't see the bone block before that. Um, I was going to say that he should add that here. And obviously he's... He's far ahead of me. Okay. Parkour, human dungeon. Let's see how bad this is going to be exactly. Um, okay, I feel like I'm going a lot further down when I shift than I'm used to. And in general, things just seem kind of weird. Me. 
but yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, it resets each time. Okay, this may take me a few tries. I'll most likely end up skipping a lot of this. Yeah, something feels really off to me. Just with the shifting. Do you like shift further down now or something? What is that all about? Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that jump, to be honest. And I'm generally not a huge fan of parkour. I like running and jumping and going fast, but not, not on parkour courses. So I think we're probably going to go and just end the video, just because I'm just... Especially a jump like that, that seems so just ridiculous. I'm I'm sure it's it's doable. We're gonna go ahead and cheat right now. Oh, let's do that. I don't know, maybe it'll Oh gosh dang it. Maybe it'll screw things up. Is it doable? Like oh now all of a sudden it seems closer. Um I just don't want to have to keep repeating it over and over again. And I would like to kind of finish the map, but I really don't think that this right here is doable, is it? I clearly don't understand the um, the end broad here. And just how wide it is or how far I can step off or something. I take back what I said about this being a good beginner map. This the parkour kind of ruins that. Um it's just a five block jump, right? Or a four block jump. I think. Okay, well we we technically made it there, so it is indeed possible. Oh gosh. No 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. What happens if we go Wait, what? Uh, one and a half block. I don't know. Wait, what? I don't even know how you're supposed to do this jump. Is there like a, um, oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, um, yeah, some, some, oh, oh, okay. That, I don't know how he had it now. I think it was something like this, right? Can't, can you actually make that jump right there? I guess you can, huh? Unless I unless I mess it up there. One and a half block Neo. I don't know what that means. Oh, where you go on the side? Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Dude. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Maybe you're really into parkour maps or something, but for me, um parkour is just not all that all that fun. What on earth is this? I don't know I don't know what this means exactly. Did we just go down? This parkour brought to you by the one anti one point fourteen texture gain. Enable the programmer art. I don't know. Oh, there are checkpoints. That's that's good. Oh, it's glass. Wait. Oh, okay. Is that what that is? 
I think so. Dude, okay, we're 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 gonna stop this right now. No, 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 just no. I wanna see what the end of the map is. Uh it's done. The power Matron five thousand is now fully powered. You can see the redstone block powering it, so it should be good to go. Wait, um actually there's one more thing. To um, make it work, you need to uh, quickly stand in the Nana Trap 3000. Trust me, nothing will go wrong. Haha, ha, you fool. He's apparently invulnerable to arrows. Ooh, excuse me, I had to cough there. I was thinking there might be a boss fight or something. Uh, what happened? Is that the end of the map? I'm going to say so, yes. Oh, let me throw these invisible blocks. Uh... Okay, all right. Well, I guess that's the end of the map then. Yeah, I... Whew, the the parkour with the little... Uh, with the end rod and the glass rods, just... Oh, I... I would do it if this were like a normal map, but as a jam map, I'm just... It's, I get one episode... This is, this is, I'm going on like four hours of recording at this point right now, so I'm just like, nope, not doing it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, my, my brain is a little fried. Interesting map, interesting concept, seems a little unpolished, um, but overall, I don't think I've played a map from you before, Rectar, so I'd say overall, well, well done. Lots of interesting command stuff going on. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.